Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nicole and today we are going to be talking a little trash. Um, we're going to go over my December empties. No, it's not December. We're going to go over my January empties and um, I do, I just, if you're new here, I just pick things up. There's no rhyme or reason. I just pick it up um, and discuss it, whether I will repurchase or not repurchase you know, give you a little description of it, not go into too much depth because generally when I've done my haul and I purchased these, I've already done like a thorough description. But let's jump into it, shall we? So the first thing here is the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Conditioner. And I absolutely love this with Purchase this every single time. Me and my daughter love this so much. Um, me being having alopecia, this is so soothing to my scalp. If you know, if you know anyone that has alopecia, you know that when we have flare-ups, our scalp tends to burn, and it's just very um, uncomfortable. But this, honey, this helps along with a little rosemary oil. Um, we, my daughter got through a cloud nine. A fragrance mist and she absolutely loved this would she buy it again I don't know I think she's tired of it um, I don't think so I, my daughter usually run through things and I mean when she wants to finish it she just keep using that scent and using it and then she becomes tired of it <laughs> we got through a sandalwood and shea butter native body wash absolutely love this this smells so good would definitely repurchase um my kids went through a colgate optic white stain fightener toothpaste would definitely repurchase every time and um we went through an extra care feminine deodorant spray and the fresh floral we got this from the dollar tree we just wanted to compare this to the um fds feminine spray or the Vagisil um, Feminine Spray. You know, you always need that extra layer of protection. You just spray your panties, you know what I mean? Or, you know, the match of your pants. And um, this worked pretty good. This wasn't too bad. Um, would I get it over my FDS? If I was tight for money, yes. But I know that we bought two, so we're working on another one. Um, I threw a uh, Toasted Vanilla Chai gentle foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. This smells so good. Yummers. This was a nice spicy vanilla. Um, can we see the fragrances? Whipped vanilla, sponge sugar, and winter spice. Yes, it's the spice for me. Smelled very good. Would definitely be purchased at a sale. We got through a Tree Hut Cotton Candy Shea Sugar Scrub. Um, not a really big fan of Tree Hut's body scrubs. However, this smells so good. They nailed it with the scent. Would I repurchase? I would because it's the fragrance for me. I mean, the actual scrub itself is kind of like a, um, I don't want to say it's not a mid grade it's a it's like a step above a mid grade and I usually like a mid grade but that's a little it's a little um, harsh on my skin so that's why I don't care for their scrubs and also sometimes they're not as um, loose or foaming as I would like it to be sometimes you gotta you know you gotta add a little water to loosen it up I don't care for that um, Ooh, I'm gonna hold this back here. My daughter got through a secret pH balance shower fresh deodorant. She would definitely repurchase. Matter of fact, I think she did. Uh, we got through a Dove Pool Moisture Bar Soap. Definitely love this. We'll repurchase every single time. 
We also got through a Bath and Body Works coffee and whiskey. It's one of my favorite scents. Definitely would be purchased at the Sabs. Um, my kids also went through a Crest Complete Scope Outlast um, toothpaste as well. Would definitely be purchased. Oh, I'm so sad. This was my last um, shower gel of Beach Nights from Bath and Body Works. Definitely, definitely will be purchased. If they ever brought this back, honey, it's in the cart. Uh, the fragrance notes on this is Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, S'mores Accord, Beach Driftwood, and Creamy Vanilla. Baby, this is everything, everything you could have asked for in a marshmallow, like a beachy marshmallow. It just smells good. It smells so good, so sweet, so vanillic. It smells so good. We also went through a winter candy apple cleansing gel hand soap. Would definitely be purchased. This just smells like your sweet candy apple. You know those red candy apples you get from the carnival. That's exactly what this smells like. But what a little spice. To me, this has a little spice in it. The fragrance notes in here are, if I can read them, it is red apples, winter rose petals, really? And candy ginger. So that's where the spice is coming in at that I, I detect. But rose, I... Would have never guessed rose because y'all know <laughs> I do not like rose. No ma'am, no way, no how. We also got through a bright Christmas morning body wash. It's funny how they call some of these shower gels and then they call some of them body washes. But we got through this and the fragrance note. I said I wasn't going into detail. Didn't I say that? I'll just do the nudes. Mm, all right then. So this has red, ripe berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. Just quickly. Mm, it's your beautiful citrus with some apple body wash. Would definitely be purchased. Um, we got through a Christmas coconut brittle um, hand soap from Bath and Body Works. Definitely would be purchased. Oh my God, this smells so good. This is your brittle with coconut. That almost caramelized sugar. Girl, this smells so good. Toasted coconut caramelized cashews and cinnamon swirl. That's, yeah, it does have a little nuttiness. It smells so good. Definitely will repurchase. Um, my daughter went through a Coco Paradise Fine Fragrance Mist. We already, I already repurchased one, so if I don't like it, she could definitely have it. Um, girl, we went through some toothpaste this month. My kids also went through a Colgate Max Fresh toothpaste. Definitely will repurchase. That was a little travel size. Uh, we went through. These um, airborne helps that help support your immune system. It's the uh, immune support supplements would definitely be purchased. I live by this. I have yet to catch COVID. However, when I had stopped using, I had taken a break from using them. Soon as I took a break, no lie, I ended up getting an upper respiratory infection. I was down for the count for it. Not long though, because I went straight to PJ's and I re-upped on a big bottle and I started taking them like regularly, like three days in a row. I was taking like four of them. I think you could take up to four of them a day. Yes, you could take up to four of them a day. So that's what I was doing for like three days straight. I would take four of them. And by the fourth day, I was feeling fine, honey. I'm telling you, I live by them. It has some zinc. Echinacea, of course, all your vitamin C's, um, your vitamin A, some vitamin D, folic acid. It's like a lot of vitamins and also minerals in here as well. 
So we we'll definitely, I already repurchased, honey. And just for, you know, just for maintenance, I just do two a day now. We also went through, actually my son went through this by himself, the Aloe and Palm Shower Gel. And he absolutely loves this. I already bought him a backup. Um, went through a Skin Naturals Hyaluronic Acid um, Face Serum. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. And when I tell you that I absolutely love this, this is so lightweight, but so moisturizing at the same time. Absolutely love this. Unfortunately, I have not seen this at the Dollar Tree. They, they're usually in stock, but I haven't seen it lately, so I haven't gotten a chance to re-up. I'm using something else, which isn't too bad either. But we'll see. Um, my daughter went through a Thayer's, Thayer's Natural Remedies Blemish Clearing Cleanser. And this is the Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. And she absolutely loves this. She will repurchase. I, I went through this wrapped in vanilla body cream. This is a, this is a hard day for me. Because this is the only body cream I have of wrapped in vanilla. But I got some lotions. Never you worry. However, you know the body cream just give off a little more sweetness. But baby, this is your decadent vanilla right here. <sighs> Would definitely, well, already have some backups, but if they come back out with it, I'm at the soap. Um, my daughter went through a, I don't know where the top at to this, a emerald mist, fine fragrance mist. And the fragrance notes in here is Fresh Rainfall, Sunkissed Pear, and Blonde Woods. This actually smells good. I got one too. It's nice and fresh and sweet at the same time and a little aquatic. But it smells really good. Really, really nice. Um, girl. Girl, and you know what? Look at that. I could not get this out, but this is a sugar milk cold banana milk um, body wash. Girl, this was so, so daggone good. They do a banana milk like nobody's business. Girl, this smells like those banana runts candies. Mm. Oh, this smells so good. But this little, how many ounces is this? I don't even think this is a full... Four ounces, is it? Girl, this say is eight ounces. This looks so little. What did this compare to my head? Is it really eight ounces? Okay, well, anyway, would we'll definitely repurchase on a sale. I think this was, this was a lot of money. I know that. For this little old body wash, it was a lot of money. So I would definitely have, need a sale for that. It was a lot of money for me. It may not be a little, lot of money for you, but around here, we like a good sale. Um, I don't know what is on this, but this is the um, Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla Native Body Wash. I'm gonna hold it back here. It's a little, a little ranky. But would definitely repurchase. I may have it in my cart already, but this smells just like Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla. It smells delicious. Um, I went through a Loom's foot cream. I like this. I got this from, um, I think TJ Maxx. Either TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I like this, but I like, um, Burt's Bees foot cream better. This left, like, a film on my hands that I did not like, but it left my feet so silky sore. Child, I don't know. I may have to buy this and wash my hands after I put it on my feet. But it was a winner. Um, and if you know me and you've been following me for a while, you know I definitely live by this um, Sure Sense Toilet Bowl Spray, a.k.a. 
the knockoff poopery. <laughs> but this works like nobody's business, honey. When I tell you that this will get rid of a scent, a dollar twenty-five. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, we went through a cinnamon sugared apples philosophy body wash. Girl, this smells so good. This smells so good. Mmm. This was given like a baked cinnamon apple. This was so good. Would definitely repurchase. If I see it, it's mine. Um, we went through a Nature's Bounty Zinc Gummies. Supports immune health. Would definitely repurchase. This is a along with your airborns, just to give you that extra oomph, for sure. Uh, my daughter went through a Dream Bright body cream. Fragrance notes in here is uh, Sapphire Raspberries, Night Blooming Orchard, and Crystallized Vanilla. Let's see. You know, I never got into Dream Bright. I don't understand what the hype is. Everybody keeps saying how pretty it is. To me, it smells like hair grease. That's just my opinion. I don't know. I don't get the raspberries. I don't get the hype around it. But to each his own. Um. Oh, my daughter went through another uh, secret shower fresh deodorant. Interesting. So yeah. Another one down through a Chai Eclair Le Mans Gourmand perfume. Baby, I absolutely love this. This was your beautiful, like spicy, almost like um a pumpkin spice perfume, but with lots of vanilla. This smells so good. And I got this from Marshalls for $12.99, baby. $12.99. Would I repurchase? I would, but right now, no. I have so much to go through. I wouldn't repurchase right now. I went through a, I think this is um, pumpkin marshmallow latte. Yeah. So we went through a pumpkin marshmallow latte, uh, wallflower. I already bought some refills. I'm laughing because I have been on the fence with these wallflower um, refills for the longest time. But for some reason, they just started performing like nobody. I keep saying nobody's business. But they keep performing like they on stage, honey. And as long as they keep performing like that, I'm going to keep purchasing them. So, and we went through a pink Prosecco frosting. I can read the uh, fragrance notes on this one. I don't know what happened to the tag to that one. But this one is pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. Baby, this smells so good. When I tell you this smells good, my daughter actually burnt this in her room. And it smells so good. Definitely were repurchased. Uh, my daughter went through a Hope Winter Peach Travel Size Marshmallow uh, Fragrance Mist. I have no idea. I'm sorry, it's like a um, lint or something on it. I don't know where her tops are. All her tops <laughs> have disappeared. And if she wouldn't repurchase this, I would. It smells so good. Unfortunately, I slept on it when it came out. I think it was like two years ago. And I didn't get it. But if they come back out with it, I'm getting it. And I went through a Dawkins of Rome Candy Neroli um, travel size perfume. Girl, this smells so good. This is the high, it's a hybrid of Byredo Sundays and something else. This just smells so, 
sweet but with citrus I don't I can't remember what the hybrid is and this was only seasonal so it they only had it for a limited time I wish I would have got a larger bottle because this smells amazing but it just makes me want to get biradal Sundays even the more I also went through a vanilla potion girl girl you know the hype that was around this thing you know the hype that was around this. This smells amazing. And I had this bottle, I think next month would have been a year that I would have had this bottle. And the longer it sits, the better it gets. Already got two backups. Um, went through, went through a raspberry thumbprint, three wick candle from Bath and Body Works. Would definitely repurchase. Mm. That is your sweet raspberry treat, honey. Um, and I actually, so I usually do like a candle burn blend. So I have burned two of these, two of these, along with, what did I burn? Oh, with the bubbly rose. And when I tell you my house was smelling amazing, amazing, girl, would definitely repurchase. I'm running out of room. I might have to start moving over here. Um, we went through a caramel drizzle three wick candle. And I, what I blended with this was, if I can remember, um, I believe it was the caramel frappuccino. Yes, love this too. This smells so good. This smells like the caramel frappuccino from McDonald's. Absolutely, absolutely. So I burned this together and I burned something else that had some caramel in it. When I get to it, I'll, I'll express it. Also, we burnt um, the Cuddle Weather three wick candle. Got through that, and with the cuddle weather, I burnt. Well, I blended the applewood and clove three wick candles. So these these have similar fragrance notes. So what I do is I try to burn them that have um, similar fragrance notes. But with the apple and the clove, I noticed that this has some ginger in it, gingerbread tea, some cinnamon shortbread in a cozy blanket whatever a co cozy blanket smell like i have no clue but um the applewood clove has rich applewood warm clove and white birch so they smell amazing together amazing and uh we got through a mary maple bourbon Three wick candle. Would absolutely repurchase this. Well, I don't know. No, no, I take that back. This started out good. It smelled so good. And then as it kept burning, it was smelling like it was burning. Like, I don't know. It was giving more of like a some woods burning or something like that. Not like by the fireplace woods either. But what's the fragrance notes in here? Sweet maple sugar, rich bourbon, and aged cedar wood. I don't know. It just wasn't given maple sugar. I don't know, babe. But um, I think I have another one too. I think I have, I burned two of these. And this is the um, Crunchy English Toffee. Oh, I think that's what I burned with the caramel. Yeah. And this smelled pretty good. Um, for some reason, it seemed like it's still a lot of wax left, but the wick wouldn't stay lit. So I figured it was, it was done at that point. But I would definitely repurchase this. It has sweet brown sugar, crunchy toffee, and dash of 
vanilla extract. This to me smells like trying to say, you ever had a scores bar it has like that chocolate on the outside and it has that thin toffee in the middle that crunchy toffee that's what this smells like to me I'll put a picture on the screen but got through that and here's the other uh, Mary maple bourbon <clears throat> And lastly, we went through a Twas the Night Before Christmas three-wick candle. And start this with um, Mary Maple Candy, this Mary Maple Bourbon. Yeah. And why? Because it has fragrance notes of Santa's fresh baked cookies, a warm mug of milk with dashes of cinnamon and nutmeg. And it smelled good together. It was okay. Like I said, these two um, started just smelling weird as it got halfway through the candle. I don't know if I will repurchase these, though. I really don't know. I might. I'm all about giving second chances, so who knows? But right now, it's a no for me. But I would definitely repurchase um, Twas the Night Before Christmas. It's giving all about the Santa sugar, Santa's sugar cookies. And I went to three, six, nine, three with candles, sis. Girl, that was amazing. You going through for the month of January. Um, was there any favorites? For me, my favorite, I believe, would, girl, I went through 12. I forgot I have these over here. I went through 12 three wick candles. And I needed to, I started blending my candles because not only does it uh, make the house smell amazing, however, I needed to get through my stash. I needed to make a bigger dent in my stash. And this is how I am accomplishing it. And I'm doing a great job, child, apparently, because my stash looking a bit low over there. <laughs> over there, over there. I got, child got candles everywhere. Anywho, but my favorite was definitely the raspberry thumbprint candles. Love, love, love them. I love raspberry. But anyway, thank you so much. And again, if you got this far in the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much, friends. Till the next time, friends. Understanding. You respected every boundary. You so exciting. Wasn't